music is so loud so loud um but hello everybody how are we today happy friday hopefully it's after work hours for everyone which means it's the weekend Woohoo! <laughs> Slippity! Thank you so much for the sub with Prime. Happy 38 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, gee, my necklace is all tangled. Oh, goodness. That's what I get for liking these, these little layered necklaces. They're always getting all tangled. Um, but, hello. Hi, Beast. Hi, Rich Toku. Hi, Dave. Hi, Lelouch. Hi, Jay Lopez. Hi, Helvation. Hi, Slippity again. Hi, Chatting. Hi, Enox. Hi, Chewy. Hey. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. The heat is kind of blasting, and I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the air that comes out of, like, heat is really dry. I need to get, like, a little desk humidifier or something. Um... Hi, Green. Hi, Funkatunk. Let me go turn down the heat a little bit, or at least stop it from blasting so much. Okay, I only lowered it one degree. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough. Sometimes I feel like lowering it too many degrees is like, or I don't know, I feel like every degree difference in my heating system like matters, you know? Like are you ever like, oh my god it's so hot and then you lower it two degrees and then suddenly it's freezing cold or like vice versa. It's like, oh it's so cold in here. Like let me up it two degrees and then it changes insane amount. I don't know, I feel like the heating in my apartment is really weird. Um, can you angle the vent out of your face? Like, does it open and close? No. And I don't think it's like at my face. I mean, it is above here, but the way that it's angled looks like it should be kind of blowing over, like over me. I don't really know. Maybe I should look into like a cute little desk humidifier. They got those on Amazon. They got those on Amazon. I feel like they do, right? Desk humidifier. They got a cute one. Oh my god, they have one that looks like a little rain cloud. Here, let's see. Desk humidifier, cute. Uh. Oh, wait, a hippo. <laughs> Some of these are cute, actually. Wait, now that I'm thinking about it. I might actually have a little humidifier. I can't remember where it is though. It might be in my bathroom. Should I grab that actually? Maybe I'll grab that really quick. Well, actually, hold on. We got a I got a go live checklist I need to attend to. Um, I am so sweetie. Sweetie? Sweaty? I'm trying to are you trying to call me sweaty? Because I'm the opposite of sweaty. I'm cold. I'm cold. It's cold out here. <gasps> um, Low-key, like, when is it going to stop being so cold? <laughs> Anyone know? Anyone know? Oh, my God. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust the arm for this. Is February, like, usually freezing? Like, when is when is it usually stop being so cold? <laughs> I thought I thought you know beginning of January, it's cold, and then it's and then it's chilling. Summer, June, no, no. <laughs> I just want it to like not be freezing cold anymore. I guess the rest of January will probably be cold. Is February usually super cold? February is like winter, right? Winter is like December, January, February. Okay, we're I guess we're like in the middle of winter right now. <laughs> oh my god. It's fine. It's totally fine. I will say, one thing about the winter is it does really make me appreciate, like, summer and, like, warmth. <laughs> you know? Um, hi, Kobe. Hello. Supposed to be in the 30s next week. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, wait, let me, let me, let's take a gander at the weather. At the weather. Let's take a gander at the weather. It's 11 degrees outside. Nice. 
It does look like it is gonna start warming up next week though, actually. So high of 17 tomorrow, 21 on Sunday, but then it's gonna be 34, 37, 40, 38. That's above freezing. So honestly, I am happy with that. I am happy with that. I think, I don't know, it just sucks. I, th I might have to like buy a space heater for my apartment or something during the winter time because I seriously feel like the fact that I have such big windows in my apartment is the reason why, like, I don't know. I feel like I've just never lived in a place, like, usually it's like, oh, it's cold outside, but like, whatever, you know? But like, I feel like th my new apartment, like, this is my first winter in this place and maybe that's why the last people didn't stay here like i don't think the last people that lived here lived here for very long and i'm like maybe it's because in the winter time it gets fucking freezing inside like what the f i try to like oh that actually reminds me i should close my curtains i try to like close the curtains and stuff like that because i feel like that would help insulate it right but if I just even like stand next to a window in my apartment, oh my gosh, it's so freaking cold. Okay, I actually am gonna go grab my little tiny desk humidifier. BRB. I just fill it up with water. Look at him. He's he's like, I don't know, in a spaceship? I don't know why the spaceship has antlers though. But hopefully he works. Hopefully he works. <sighs> okay. He's plugged in. Do you think I have to like have it like right under my nose or like, can I just have him on the side right here and will that work? Where's like, how do I turn it on? Ooh. I thought he's supposed to light up. He's not lighting up. I'm gonna put him like kind of near me. Cause now it looks like, I don't know. I don't know what it looks like with that's on the side, but. I just think, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, maybe I'm just, maybe my throat's just swollen, but I just, I feel icky. I feel icky, icky. But definitely starting to feel better. I feel like the last few days before today, I was like dying in the morning time. But still a little sick, honestly. Um, when 30 is balmy, you know it's been cold. I know, no, I remember when I first moved to Illinois, like from, from Southern California where it's like always warm, right? And I will never forget, like, you know, had my first Illinois winter or whatever, had to bundle up, stay warm. But then I just remember the first, like at school, the first day that it was like above freezing, it was like 35 degrees and you know, like barely above freezing. I remember seeing motherfuckers show up to school wearing shorts and, uh, and t-shirts. And I was like, hell nah, this is some Midwestern shit for real. Like, 
<laughs> I, I still to this day, I am baffled whenever I see somebody wearing shorts in like 40 degrees weather, 40 degree weather or something, but it's always like the first like day above freezing. But you know, I will, I'm gonna, I will say, I feel like when I first moved to Illinois, it was like colder for longer. Like I feel like nowadays it's, it, there's like not that many days where it's like negative degree weather but i feel like when i first moved here like i just feel like the winters were really bad a cup like like a couple years ago but like every year that i've lived in illinois the winters have gotten less and less intense and like r.i.p global warming but like honestly i don't mind <laughs> um that's that's the life hack okay guys don't live in like la or miami like yeah it's warm right now but like also like they're on fire they're gonna fall into the ocean like you gotta move to the places where it's freezing because then when global warm kicks in then then those are the places that are gonna be nice you know that's the, i'm invest I'm, I'm a real investor okay i'm a real long-term investor out here in Chicago, okay? When when California is falling off into the ocean and Miami is a freaking Atlantis, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be chilling. I'm gonna be chilling. <laughs> Who cares about wildfires and hurricanes? I feel like wildfires and hur like me, me. I do not want to live somewhere where there's like crazy natural disasters. That's like the best thing about Chicago, is like we got no natural disasters. We just have cold winters. Um. <laughs> Who needs oceans that have fish in them? LOL, so funny. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> um, global warming increases wildfires and hurricanes. It does. It does. I'm just going to leave. Bye. Wait, whoa. Hold on. I'm joking. Bro, bro. I'm joking. I am not actually being pro-global warming. <laughs> I do not... Uh, yes, I I do not think that global warming is good. I do not think that natural disasters are good. But I mean, still we still gotta acknowledge that that it exists. I don't know, man. Um, Illinois can get tornadoes though. Yeah, but not like, um, not Chicago. Tornadoes are more likely to. Oh, I can't remember what the. It's like the landscape. Like I'm pretty sure it has to be like pretty flat land for tornadoes. So like even when I used to live in the cornfields, like the area that I lived in was like more of a valley. So there was never tornadoes there either. Um, just saying it might be nice if the winters weren't so harsh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm not... Okay, sorry. I didn't know I had to be explicitly clear. I do not... Sup I do not think global warming is a good thing. Okay? I am not a fan. <laughs> just, just trying to make a little jokey joke. Okay. Damn, it's strict out here, y'all. I didn't know I had to be serious all the time. Okay, my bad, my bad. Uh, <laughs> um, here, sorry, let me scroll up. February is usually the worst. We, we just got deep freeze for a few days. Supposed to be 50 plus. Oh my, Sunday. Oh my goodness. February is worse. Oh God, I'm not mentally prepared for this. Um, supplementing gas with electric heat is a good idea. HVAC has been falling across the nation. Oh, that is one thing is my building does use gas well I, I have a gas stove which only leads me to believe that i have gas heating and gas everything else and that was the one thing that i did not like about this apartment actually i um electric curtains like the blankets do they make them honestly business idea business idea that's that's pretty smart um it does not the only requirements for tornadoes are warm wet fronts smashing into cold dry fronts they can happen anywhere this takes place yeah well chicago does have like tornado sirens on the first tuesday of every month and i remember when i moved here i like had never done a tornado drill before but i remember like in california we did wildfire drills and then you know then when i moved to illinois we did tornado drills now i'm pretty sure every school just does school shooter drills <laughs> um you should buy sh snowshoes and go hiking around there. Hell no. Nah. I'll wait till it warms up a little. I'll go hiking in the spring. Once all the snow melts. I don't have a very good cold tolerance. Unfortunately. Um, not really a thing. Weather patterns have changed for thousands of years. 
I guess fair enough. I guess if a tornado pops up, I wonder, actually, let's, I'm curious. When was the last tornado in Chicago? In downtown Chicago. Has downtown Chicago ever had a tornado? The last tornado in downtown Chicago was May 6th, 1876. Yep, eight, yep. I mean, it makes sense because it's like, if you think about the way the tornadoes are formed, I feel like it'd be, it would be really hard for them to form in a city where there's a lot of tall buildings because you need to have airflow for it and stuff. But like, I feel like if a tornado were to like hit Chicago, it'd probably like form over the lake or something and then like fucking slam into the city. But it's like, how would a tornado form like withers a bunch of high rises and stuff you know um do, do, do. you're half jungle asian no i don't i don't know what jungle asian means <laughs> so so statistically the next one isn't that far away Nah, i feel like to me that's signifying that they don't happen very often that would be a water spout not a tornado what if the lake is frozen over Hmm, what about them apples? Then it'd be like a solid, solid. Vietnamese is jungle. I've never heard that term before. Jungle Asian. I feel like that sounds... Sounds a little... <laughs> is that just referring to, like, more tropical Asian countries? I, I imagine. Um, building boilers always will have natural gas. Just the nature of current heating systems. <laughs> Yeah, I just feel like, uh, I don't know, I've like listened, I, I did a little, you know, did a little research, natural gas, first of all, the term natural gas, propaganda, fucking marketing, okay, there ain't nothing natural about that fucking gas, okay, it's bad for you, it'll give you cancer, it'll give you health problems, you don't want to live in a building that uses all natural gas, <laughs> but do your own research, I won't get too deep into things. Um, I'm sure funnel clouds have formed, but never touched down in the city. Yeah. No, I'm sure too, but... Honestly, at the end of the day, like, when I lived in California, I had, had multiple wildfires that I had to deal with. Like, I remember being a kid and having to, like, evacuate because there was, like, fires and stuff, and... Like, I feel like, I don't know, I have not had to take any action living in Illinois because of a natural disaster. But living in California, multiple times, I feel like I had to, I was, like, personally affected by some kind of natural disaster. So, I don't know. Chat, do you live somewhere where you have to deal with natural disasters? I feel like they're fucking happening everywhere now. New York was, like, getting flooded last year, right? Um, I know Miami with, or like just Florida in general with the hurricanes were pretty bad. Um, I don't know. Blizzards? Hmm. I guess I wouldn't necessarily think of a blizzard as a natural disaster. I mean, I guess a really bad one definitely can be. A blizzard? I guess a blizzard is different than like a snowstorm. Cause I've like, I, like, there's been like snowstorms here and stuff. We're like really cold. But like to me, like natural disaster, it's like for me, when I think of a natural disaster, I think of something that is like damaging the infrastructure of a city. Buildings are getting taken out or something by whatever, by whatever it is. You know what I mean? Uh, if it makes you feel any better, that heating system boiler is also providing you hot water. Yeah, but you can get hot water with electric heat. With electric? What do you mean? <laughs> um, the wildfires from Canada last summer were crazy. I know there's been so many wildfires. The ho the Hawaii ones were so sad. Oh my god, wasn't it like 80 or 90 percent of the species that went extinct in 2023 were Hawaii were native Hawaiian species? Oh my god, the Maui wildfires were really bad. Yeah, there's been like a lot. There's been a huge uptake in natural di disasters. And there's still motherfuckers out there trying to be like, climate change ain't a thing. <laughs> That's crazy to me. Um, hail might be intermediate thing where you are. 
I don't know if I've ever really had hail. I'm sure there's like been hail, maybe like while I was just like inside and I didn't notice. Um, extreme cold and blizzards or ice storms are absolutely natural disasters. They impact the infrastructure. Staff doesn't have to be on, stuff doesn't have to be on fire to be a disaster. Yeah, well, I, 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 I corrected myself. I said a blizzard, I suppose, is different than a snowstorm. I was thinking of like a snowstorm. Like, I feel like people call snowstorms blizzards oftentimes when they're like not actually like just to be dramatic, you know, but like a legit blizzard, definitely serious stuff. What are like, what are like all the natural types type? What are the different types of natural disasters? Uh, different types of natural disasters. We got floods, earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes, droughts, wildfires, landslides, winter storms, avalanches, extreme heat, hail, sinkhole, blizzard, biological disaster, thunderstorm, cold wave, limnic eruption, mudslide, volcano, tsunami, wind. Why is it just wind? Wind. Lightning. Hydrological disasters. What is a hydrological disaster? Hydrological hazards relate to the movement of water, include floods, landslides. Okay, wait, isn't that, wasn't, weren't those already named though? Oh my God, I feel like a sink. Let me think, chat, out of all the natural disasters, which one would you say is like the scariest? Like you're like, oh hell nah, like, like something, like one of those happens and I don't know. Like what would you like least want? Obviously they all suck, obviously they all suck. A sinkhole, I was about to say a sinkhole. Cause it's like, like imagine you're chilling, all of a sudden sinkhole, you're free falling inside of your home with, with everything. Like what the fuck? <laughs> You're dead for sure. Like there's no way. Although, although honestly, like a fire, just because like I feel like out of all the ways, okay, this is like kind of grim. Sorry, we can change subjects in a in a sec. But like I feel like out of ev any way to die, I feel like getting burned alive would be like the fucking worst. So low key, I feel like I would not want to be in a fire. Um. You gave Pokemon guns. Oh yeah, wait guys, we're gonna play Pal World later, actually. Oh my god, hold on. I just realized that I haven't even done my go live checklist. I'm dummy. I'm dummy. I I I dummy dummy. Um, you'll choke on smoke before you burn to death if you're if you're indoors. Not necessarily. If you're only if you're in a place with bad ventilation. <laughs> But if you're in a place with good ventilation and there's still fire, <laughs> oh God, I don't know. That would be so scary. I feel like I would just, I'd have to be like, I'd, I'd be finding a way to end it before then. I'd be like, get me out of here. <laughs> Chad, if there was an apocalypse, how hard would you be fighting for your life? Like be fucking for real. If there was an apocalypse, how hard are you really fighting? Or are you going to be like, ah, hell nah. <laughs> I I ain't dealing with this shit. Honestly, I feel like I would like okay, I guess it depends on what kind of apocalypse. Like I feel like if it was like a zombie apocalypse or something, I low key would want to get weapons or something just because like actually okay, I I will say depends what kind of zombies, okay? Like if they're just like the uh, like they just walk really slowly, oh hell yeah, I'm fucking getting some weapons. I'm working those motherfuckers. But if it's like the zombies that can like run really fast, ooh, no, 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 take me out, take me out. <laughs> Time for a new spawn. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny because I feel like I am definitely the kind of person like in video games or something. Like it's like oh I'll just like kill my character to like try again, but like there ain't. There ain't no doing that in real life. We play it on hardcore mode out here. <laughs> Zombie apocalypse isn't realistic because everyone knows how to kill them already. I guess. Well, what, what, well, I don't know. What do you mean? You don't, you don't know. Maybe they got some kind of weakness. Maybe they're the kind of zombies that can still operate with their head chopped off, you know? I feel like every video game zombie is a little different. But The Last of Us zombie is low-key scary as fuck. Like, if they're, like, mutant zombies or something. But if they're just, like, undead. Like I said, I could take those motherfuckers. Plus, it would be fun. I, I feel like I would want to get my hands on... Okay, real talk, okay, guys? Apoc zombie apocalypse is happening. You break into a fucking Walmart for whatever... And they got any type of weapon available to you. Besides guns. 
Besides guns. No guns. <laughs> what are you picking? I feel like I would want to get really good at, like, throwing knives. <laughs> I feel like I could, though. Like, I remember watching Hunger Games, and there was, like, what was it? It was, like, the District 2 girl. I think her name was, like, Clove or something. But I was, like, I feel like... And... and <laughs> <laughs> this is funny, but every time I go to Dave and Buster's and I play that damn axe throwing game, I am so good. I'm getting every axe right in the fucking middle. Like, I I just feel like if I really, you know, if I really had to be doing that shit, I would definitely be doing, like, throwing knives or throwing axes or something. Like, it's so satisfying, too, and it, like, smacks your target. Plus, I feel like in close combat... I feel like since I'm like smaller, I like would be disadvantaged because you know, it's like, I feel like in close combat, if you have like longer arms or you have like more height, you would be better for close combat. Like, I feel like I would have to choose a more long range combat weapon. Bat with nails seems to be the way to go. But if it, what if it gets like stuck on something and then you're like fighting two people and then it, your bat gets stuck and then like the other one attacks you, you're gone, you're gone. Sword, pepper spray, or lighter fluid? Pepper spray? What's pepper spray doing against those zombies? They don't even have eyeballs. Or some of them don't. <laughs> Machete, star knives. Oh, is that like, like what ninjas use? <laughs> That's similar to me, I suppose. I feel like if you can, I feel like throwing weapons, like I feel like the skill set's pretty similar, you know? Like I feel like if you could do throwing knives, you could probably do like the star ones and like machetes. It's all about the flick of the wrist, you know? <laughs> um... I already have guns, but practi practicality for staking zombies is a spear. Oh, actually, that's a good one. Because I feel like even I could probably, like, fight with a spear. Like, even though, since I don't have that that range, per se. A chainsaw and some fuel. Okay, chainsaw, that, that's also a good one, honestly. Because it's like, you could just you could just be spinning in circles. <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be good with those AoE attacks. <laughs> Damn. Um, hi. Um, could be cricket bat and shovel. What's a cricket bat? I just feel like I see it in every zombie movie slash game. I know, true. I feel like that's the kind of weapon though that you would make if you like had if you had no access to real weapons, you know. But yeah, I feel like a spear. Like that's honestly smart. I think a spear is a good one for like, like I feel like most people could probably fight some kind of zombie with a spear. But I don't know also because it's like. I guess it, it depends, like, how hard it is to kill them. Because, like, if it's hard to kill them and, like, you just stab it with a spear, what if it doesn't give a fuck, it's not dying from that, and it just grabs the spear and, like, it's coming closer to you? <laughs> Why am I feeling like this is real? <laughs> um, <laughs> and the apocalypse fuel will run out. Also, not very green. <laughs> Bro, I don't I don't think people are going to be, you know, caring about being green during the apocalypse. I mean, most of humanity is going to die, so that's already going to be more green. <laughs> I would amass a large quantity of banana peels and defend myself via throwing them. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. That, that That's Mario would approve. Mario and Luigi would approve. <laughs> um... Ever notice they almost never wore long sleeve shirts in zombie shows? Long sleeve shirts would be the first line of defense against bites. True. Just get like a big ass puffy coat. Hell yeah. I'd be I'd be breaking into the Canada Goose store. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Like, I feel like if you just had like a good quality puffy coat, no zombies biting through that, you know? Um all right we'll start preparing guys <laughs> maybe i'll become one of those doomsday people that has like a little doomsday shelter um a scythe would be cool <laughs> that makes me think of kite from hunter hunter he'd be op with his scythe something like a frog gig would do well it would cut rebar what's a frog gig generally any sort of anti-personnel weaponry is effective as versus zombies hmm Samurai armor would be OP. <laughs> Break into your local museum. <laughs> Honestly, like, not bad idea. <laughs> Get the thing police use for dog bites. What do they use for dog bites? Bunker pepper and homesteading. 
I do think, you know, long in the long term of my life, I think it would be cool. I, I mean, like, I ultimately would want to have, like, a decent plot of land. It doesn't need to be huge, but I would like to have, like, a, a big plot of land and have, like, a garden and stuff. I feel like it would be cool to, like, be kind of self-sufficient. Apocalypse or not, you know what I mean? I feel like it would be cool to, like, grow vegetables and fruits and stuff that I'd be able to eat. Land is cheap in the South. Come to Louisiana. The South scares me. <laughs> I don't want to have, like, my, my rights as a woman be lessened. <laughs> um, I feel like zombies has to happen one day. Yeah, you think so? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> a frog gig is a spear used to stab frogs. It's called frog gigging, and there's barbs on the end of them. Ooh. Sounds scary. Mor motorcycle leathers over puffy coats. I've, to I've torn puffy coats shoveling. Well, I'm not talking about, like, a regular puffy coat. Like, I'm talking about, like, the, like, like, the, the good quality ones. Like, like, they're not just puffy. They're, like, oh, what's the right word? They're, like, all weather resist. I don't know. I don't, I actually don't have any coats like that. But they're made for, like, super, I don't know. I will say, I feel like I recently decided that to invest in a few nice puffy coats for this winter, and I, I've like never really had a nice puffy coat ever in my life. Growing up broke, lol. Like I don't know. I feel like my puffy coats were just like whatever. But like I decided to get myself some nice puffy coats, and oh my god, the difference! If you live in a cold climate, I feel like a nice puffy coat is so important like i don't know like i feel like i cannot and it's such a good investment because like you just wear the same coat every single day you know but i've never had like a super nice puffy coat before and i'm very glad that i decided to invest in one um oh my god Fen fenry house thank you so much for the seventh prime i appreciate that happy two months thank you thank you thank you eee you gotta layer in cold environments see i did normally have to layer but i feel like now with like my nicer jackets like i don't even really have to layer like i can just like wear one layer under my coat and like be good to go i feel like my other ones like like with my when i didn't have nice puffy coats like i'd have to be like long sleeve shirt sweater but like, like i don't know like multiple layers you know one puffy coat and one wool. See, that's my next one is I want to find like a good wool coat because like, I'm not gonna lie, like I'd be looking a little goofy. I'd be looking like a marshmallow man in my puffy coats. <laughs> so I kind of want like a nice wool coat for like, if I like, you know, go out or something, like I'm going to dinner, like like one of those like nice, like kind of bougie looking ones, but like that are also really warm. But I don't even know where to get stuff like that. <laughs> um... Like, there's this really funny law, I think, in North Carolina about dating. Like, if you tell a girl you're dating, you'll marry her. If you hook up, that you have to marry her. That's a law? Or, honestly, yeah, get them liars. Get them fucking liars. Hell yeah. <laughs> I support. <laughs> um... Do you know how to ride a motorcycle or drive stick shift? I know- I do know how to drive stick shift. I- have not rode a most motorcycle by myself i've been a passenger on a motorcycle <laughs> that's about it though uh i do not i do not support motorcycles i am anti-motorcycle i remember what i remember one I, i've like i don't know yeah i'm anti-motorcycle <laughs> um dude like it's it's a law you have to honor your word to the lady you're dating I mean, fair enough, honestly. <laughs> Get them fucking liars, like I said. <laughs> um, those are pricey. Oh, they are. They are. That's the one thing, too. It's like... Ugh, buying... I, but, I, like I said, I feel like that's been my whole thing since I've, I've been trying to move away from fast fashion and actually try to invest in a few but good quality staple pieces you know um you gave pokemon guns didn't you we gonna be giving pokemon guns later maybe in like 20 minutes thinking like an hour of chatting and then and then we give them pokemon guns yeah i was watching have you guys been watching any pal world gameplay i was watching some earlier and it looked really funny but also yeah it looked it looked funny but i was trying not to i didn't want to like watch too much it looks kind of like farming, like, honestly. 
Yeah, coats can last you multiple winters. Yeah, no, definitely. I was viewing it as an investment. I was viewing it as an investment. And it's one of those things where it's like, if you live in a cold environment, like I feel like a coat is something worth kind of splurging a little bit more on. The next thing I need to invest in though, is like warm pants. But like what, what kind of warm, like, cause I feel like, you know, I got my nice coat now and like that keeps me warm. But then I step outside and my legs cold as hell. And honestly, I need to invest. Uh, well, I have my Uggs, which normally like those keep my feet pretty warm. But I feel like they're not waterproof, so I don't really want to wear them in the snow. So I need like a pair of like basically snow boots or like boots that I can wear in in the snow that will keep my feet warm. Because, yeah, like I can't be wearing any of my sneakers. They're going to soak in. Uggs are not waterproof. Um, quality over fashion. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just feel like... I mean, when you ain't got money, I feel like you, like, I've never really had the money to, <laughs> to kind of give myself nice pieces of clothing, but, I mean, after a year working my job, and now, you know, streaming and stuff, I have, like, I have savings that I can be like, let me get myself a nice coat, let me get myself, I don't know, um, women birth children, men should be able to create successful businesses, I don't really see how those two things are connected. Women can birth children and create successful businesses. How about them apples? <laughs> I'm gonna be a businesswoman one day. Hmm. What, what will my business be? I was actually getting real into thinking, I was like, damn, like, I would wanna, what the fuck is going on? Why am I added to, did I just get added to some random ass fucking Bitcoin? For investment advising, please open the BTC slash ETH. Bitch, get me the fuck out of this scam ass group chat. Why am I in here? Delete. Delete. God. Scammers these days are fucking relentless, bro. Um, you don't have snow boots yet? How long have I been in Chicago? Like a year ish. I mean, I have like shoes that I wear, they're just not snow boots. Yeah, honestly, I just don't go outside in the winter. I'm a work from home girly, okay? <laughs> I see snow on the ground and I say, oh, another day indoors. <laughs> um, but I am trying to go outside more this winter. I feel like I was like way too much of a hermit last year. Thermal layers help, as does merino wool. Ooh, merino wool. I'll have to keep that in mind. Hi, Fluffs. Hello. Um um what's that fog oh i have a little desk humidifier isn't he cute he's going on an adventure but i'm a little sicky and i feel like humidifiers always help me whenever i have a sore throat you know i'm i'm pro humidifier let me actually move this to the other side of my desk I have more space over here. And just remember you have to clean wool by hand. Oh God. All right, I'm already gone. I'm already out. <laughs> I'm, I'm already good on that. I'm just kidding. I thought your business was building a town with a bunch of trains zooming around the town. True. I was thinking, I was like, okay, if I can't do a town, maybe I could do like a resort. <laughs> Is it, I feel like it'd be easier to build a resort, right? But something where people can visit or vacation. Escape reality. Just kidding. I don't know though. I don't know what I'd want to do. I think that, well, obviously I'd want to do something that helps people. I don't know. I also have a sore throat. Invest in humidifier. I feel like it makes a big difference. Um, I thought, oh, I already read that. He's in the gas chamber, stop. <laughs> no, no. I machine wash all my wool except for jackets. Yeah? Does it turn out okay? I'm not gonna lie. I feel like half the shit that I'm like not supposed to machine wash, I just do anyways. Just open a bed and breakfast. Oh no, that's too quaint. I'm thinking large. I'm thinking large. <laughs> um, 
I feel like all the business ideas that I would want to do would like require me to have an insane amount of money in the first place. Like, like, you know, like ain't no, no, no Joe off the side of the road is popping up with a fucking resort. Like I gotta have the capital first to even build that. So that's my issue. That's my problem is all my business ideas require me to first of all already have money. Like, like goddamn okay i think actually actually i did have like an app idea that i think is still really good but i didn't want to do it alone and no one wanted to do it with me <laughs> my friends don't have that entrepreneurial spirit i guess but i definitely i think if i ever did like i oh. I won't get too deep into it, but I, I wrote out a whole ass business plan with different phases and stuff and, and everything, but, and I actually, I was going to try and like build it with chat GPT because I saw that there were motherfuckers that were like building apps with chat GPT, but yeah, chat GPT wasn't fucking, wasn't really helping me enough. And honestly, I feel like if I ever started a business, I think I would want at least a business partner. Like, I don't think I would want to start a business, like, completely b by myself, you know? Like, I feel like I would want someone that I can, like, bounce ideas off, like, bounce ideas off of and, like, help with the workload and everything. Like, I don't think I would ever want to start a business completely by myself, you know? It takes money to make money a lot of time. I know. The unfortunate truth. That's how the rich get richer. Ah. <laughs> so who wants- so everybody just, you know- Donate your life savings to me and then I'll become rich and then and then I'll use that money to start a really cool business. Uh, see, but also I feel like sometimes like like a resort, like how profitable are resorts? Like I feel like they're probably not that profitable. Like I feel like it probably takes a lot of money to even just run a resort, keep it running. You know, if you're not popping off either, it's like, how oh, are you really making all that back? Fund your half-baked ideas. Yeah, yeah, come on guys, you believe in me, right? No, my ideas are not half-baked, honestly. My fucking, my, my app that I came up with, oh, I just know it was so good. I just, like, need someone that knows how to build an app. Like, honestly, I do think I have good ideas. I do think I got, I got that brain power. Sometimes, I just don't have, like, the technical skills. Like, that's literally what it is, is I don't have the technical skills. And I hated coding, bro. Like, I know I could just teach myself how to code, but Jesus, the coding classes that I took in college, I hated it. I hated them. I, I could not. I don't, I, I think I would, I don't like to code. I don't want to learn how to code. That's what I want. I need like a, t I would need like a technical person. I could be the, you know, I could be the front face. I could be, I'll, I'll come up with the ideas, the game plan, the execution, the marketing, everything. I'll, I'll worry about getting us customers. I'll, I'll do all that stuff. Like just someone else, someone else just got to like build, just execute, build, build the app, do the, do the technical stuff. <laughs> like I would also want it to be like a friend or something, not just like some random person. We'll see. Tech guy that wears Patagonia fleeces. No, tech girly. I actually worked on a startup. I worked, I did actually work on a startup when um when i was in college and i don't think anything ever happened to that startup <laughs> but i did my part i did my part it helped me get my uh, my full-time job so shit i did have that experience but yeah um uh, make chat, chat gpt code it bro i literally tried and like it wasn't working and since I didn't have like the level of knowledge to like be proofreading the code and stuff myself it's like I didn't even know what wasn't working you know what I mean like I literally tried like I I'm not gonna lie like part of the reason why I like because for a while I was like using my iPad as like a laptop kind of and but then I wanted to build the app like basically I did a bunch of research and they were like okay if you think that most people that are going to be using your app are going to be using it on an iPhone you should build your app using Xcode which is I guess Apple's programming software or whatever coding language and um so I fucking bought a Mac and, and guess what you can't you the only thing that you can get the, the Xcode software on is a MacBook like, or is a Mac, 
So I freaking bought myself a new laptop, which honestly I needed one anyways, cause my one from college like fucking broke and I didn't have a laptop. So I needed it anyways. But anyways, I bought one and, and then I was like, literally like, I spent like a few days like trying to work chat GPT to like build out certain parts and I, it just wasn't working. And, and like I said, I like didn't have a technical skill set to be like, proofreading and seeing like what parts of the code weren't working or whatever so oh, i just fucking gave up um yeah <laughs> uh airbnbs are drying up so fast look good capital is evaporating yeah i heard the airbnb industry is like dying do you try jailbreaking chat gpt no um, Patagonia gives plus two ego points. Damn, maybe I should buy myself one. I do remember being in high school and like wanting one of those like, like the fleece ones that have like the buttons and like the little pocket. I remember wanting one of those so bad. Um, you gotta work with it a little, usually unless you do small segments that are very specific. That's literally what I was doing. Okay, but also it's fine. <laughs> Obviously I was doing something wrong, so I'm not gonna act like I was, you know, being amazing at it, but it's fine. Um, at the end of the day, it's like, if I'm really serious as fuck about it, I should find a business partner. Cause I don't know, I just don't think I would wanna do all that myself. <gasps> Victim, thank you so much for the tier three. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You're so amazing. You're so fantastic. You're so amazing. You're so fantastic. Yeah. That was for you, victim. For that tier three. Oh my god, that reminds me. I'm like, should we? Should I? I'm. I've, I don't think I'm anywhere close to partner. Plus. Guys, I don't think I'm gonna be qualifying for partner plus for a minute. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A hundred twenty-three out of three fifty. God. I should do some kind of incentive. Guys, everybody tier three sub to me right now. Right now. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my God, don't don't make me go viral like Invader V. Guys, I'm joking, it's a joke. I, I'm joking. I am joking. Don't cancel me. Um, Step one, create a course telling people you can use ChatGPT to become a millionaire. Step two, sell said course. Step three, profit. <laughs> My programming knowledge is advanced enough to know how to troubleshoot the programs that ChatGPT generates. I only know the programming part, not an idea person. Like with Xcode, I was trying to do Xcode. See, the issue is, is like, I feel like since I was like doing Xcode, I was like getting confused because like I have like beginner level knowledge in like Python and R. Those were like the two languages that I took classes on in university. But Xcode, I like never worked with before. So it was very foreign to me. Um, some dude found out you can get ChatGPT to do whatever you want if you threaten to cut off your hands. What the fuck? Why are people being, why are people bullying ChatGPT? <laughs> he's just a little guy. Actually, he's not just a little guy. Uh, Jru Bryant, thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate that. Happy 21 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I should have been investing in real estate when you were in kindergarten. Yeah, yeah. yeah I should have actually been like buying, buying a home uh, before the 2008 financial crisis, God, or afterwards. I don't know. <laughs> don't know how that works. Um, Chat GPT doesn't wear Patagonia. So right about that. So right. Come over here for a lap dance. Excuse me, sir. Huh? Oh no, my nail. I need to get new ones. They're coming off left and right. Is this real? Is this my real nail or is this just glue? I think this is just the glue. Guys, what color should I get my next nail set? I should probably go like before next week's ASMR, huh? Um. ChatGPT really has no drip. No, no, he don't. Well, honestly, I don't have a Patagonia, so I guess I have no drip. Honestly, should I just buy myself one of those little fleece Patagonias just to make my old high school self happy? <laughs> How much are they? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like, I feel like every, every, every guy, every popular guy and girl at my high school had one of those, like, little fleece Patagonias with, like, the buttons and, like, the pocket, you know? 
I'm looking it up. Patagonia. Oh, and I spell it wrong. That's how you know I'm a brokey at heart. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um... I'm looking so specifically for a certain one. Oh god. Oh yeah, the cinchilla! The cinchilla! It's this one. Wait, why are these like weird? I, I want... It was these, bro. Every, every like popular white dude and white girl. Like, like it was unisex too. I was like, I felt, I felt like a fucking loser, bro. They had all, they had these ones. Wait, that one's that one was cute. Actually, like, like this is cute, but I'm not really a blue girl. What is with these crazy patterns? I feel like sin uh, sin chilla. Oh wait, I want women's women's sin chilla. Wait, is this the one we were just looking at? A hundred forty dollars. Is that worth it? Wait, is this what we were just looking at? Where- what? What is with these shitty color options? I feel like- I, I remember always going to the Patagonia website when I was in high school because I wanted one and like, there was definitely more options. <laughs> Baby Cinchilla! Oh my god. There are babies out there that have better- Ooh! Kids! Honestly, I could pull that off. Marsupial? Honestly, honestly, $62 and it's 30% off right now. You think I could pull off a kid's extra large, guys? This is cute as hell. What the fuck? The pink? Why don't they have this in like adult? What? Why do the kids have better options? Honestly. How do I the fit regular fit true to size can i get like like what is this equivalent to in women's sizing we think what's my size size guide ages <laughs> oh shit height weight Wait, low key, low key. I think I could do an extra large. I'd be like in between. At least based off of weight. I don't know, uh, height? How many inches am I? If I'm 5'2, 60 plus 2, oh, I'm 70 something inches. What the fuck? Wait, okay, so I'm taller than any child? Why are these like weight and heights, I feel like, not correlating? 62. Oh, I don't know why I added 12. 62 inches. Wait a minute. Maybe an extra large would fit me then. Why is it? Okay, so so is Patagonia trying to say I'm the size of a 14 year old, bro? I'm feeling roasted a little bit, but it's fine. Honestly, bro, it's cute. Do I get it? And it's 31% off. Like, I, when I saw 140, I was low-key like, hell nah. But like, 62 to fulfill a childhood dream or an adolescent dream, I guess. I don't know. And it, I, I mean, like, it's probably gonna be cozy as hell, you know? Like, I could just wear this around my apartment. I, I, don't, have a, I don't have any Patagonia. Should I do it, y'all? 31% off is decent. Yeah, honestly. Kids be big these days. <laughs> Do they? I don't know. True bargain shopper. I mean, it's on sale. It's on sale and they have my alleged size. <laughs> Kids extra large. <laughs> Maybe I will get it. <laughs> you just discover a shopping hack buying children's clothes? Bruh. First of all, I've been doing that, okay? You don't want to know how many pairs of shoes that I have that I actually got in children's sizing. Saved a lot of money that way. <laughs> um, I should be getting commission for this. Fits 32 ch I don't know what my measurements are, to be completely honest. Like, do y'all, like, know your measurements like that? Like, whenever I see that, I'm like, I don't know what that means. Like, I don't know. But based off of height and weight, a kid's extra large should fit me. 
And hope I just guess. I, yeah, I don't know. I never know that stuff. Honestly. Alright, I'm leaving this tab open. I, I will return to this after stream. <laughs> Let me actually... Oh, it's because they have a winter sale going on right now, I guess. Alright guys, if you want a Patagonia, they're having a winter sale. Just kidding, actually. Hashtag not sponsored. Just kidding. <laughs> Patagonia, you're going to have to pay me for this promo. If that's what you want, girl. Um, men use actually actual sizes and in inches. We don't play the small numbers games. Wait, what? What do you mean? Um... There's a Patagonia store in River North. If you can return it too, if it doesn't fit. Ooh, good to know actually. Cause I feel like online returns be confusing the hell out of me. I don't think I've ever returned anything that I bought online. Like, like I've never like shipped something back to return. Except for Amazon. Amazon makes the return process really easy though. Cause you could just like, I just like drop it off at like a Whole Foods or like an Amazon. Like there's, there's Amazon fucking drop off locations everywhere. Like if you wear a size two normally, it would easily fit. I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, is it weird to talk about my size? <laughs> I, I'm, I wear less than that. Honestly, I, if anything, I would rather that be a little big than a little small, you know? Cause I want to be like big and cozy. So we'll see. Honestly, I, I might just say fuck it and get the kids XL. Cause I like those colors. I've, I've won one of those. It's on sale. It's not $140. It's 62. That's a big difference. That's like, honestly, in my mind, that's the discount that I'm getting. I'm not getting 31% off. I'm getting whatever the difference between 140 to $62 is. <laughs> um, I gave the Pokemon guns and rush. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, adult Asians buying youth clothing is a thing. Bro, okay, well, mm, the thing that's pissed me off so much is that, like, I feel like when I was younger, I, like, didn't have as much of a problem finding clothes that fit me. And then... Like, and then there was like, you know, body positivity movement, have more inclusive sizing, which yes, I think that's a good thing. I, I'm supportive. I do think sizing should be more inclusive. However, what companies did was they just took the sizing and shifted it up. So what used to be a medium is now a small, what used to be a large, you know what I mean? And there's still, there are still companies that just have small, medium, and larges as if all human bodies could be categorized into three. Like they should have just added more sizes because like, I feel like what used to be, like, like what I said, like, I feel like what used to be a small is, or like what used to be a medium is now considered a small. So like, so oftentimes, like if, like a small doesn't even fit me anymore which is like fucking bs fucking bs so these companies like i need extra small to extra large like i feel like if a company doesn't have extra small to extra large i'm not even trusting it okay if i click on an article clothing and all i see is small medium large yeah fuck no that shit's not fitting me like i don't know like i just feel like i do not trust that <laughs> or you've grown i actually have not <laughs> You guys want to hear some BS, bro? I have been the same height since I was in the fifth grade. I was super tall when I was a kid, bro. Y'all would not believe this. I used to be so tall. I used to always be like one of the tallest kids in my class. I literally have a picture of like me and Lauren when we were kids of me like towering over her. She's like on her tippy toes trying to be as tall as me and she's still not. So like I used to be a tall kid. And then I never grew again and everyone else kept growing and I stayed the same. <laughs> My God, that was tragic, truly tragic. <laughs> there was only, there was one, there was, that was the only time in my life I was, I was a tall person. It was when I was a child. So I don't know what happened. I guess I just like had my growth spurt earlier than most kids. But yeah, I've literally been the same height since I was in fifth grade. And honestly, like my my like weight has been the same. Actually, I did weigh more when I was in high school because I did so many sports. So like I had a lot more muscle on me. So I weighed 
more when I was in high school than I did now and then when I was younger as well. Uh, I was really short until freshman year, then I grew a ton. Yeah, I feel like for boys, like, you guys have growth spurts a lot later. Um, still holding on to that moment of glory? Yes. Yes, I fucking am. <laughs> um, is it usual range now? I mean, yeah, if it's a good brand, it is. But, like, I do feel like there's a lot of brands out there that are only, like, small, medium, and large still. So, I don't know. I think, it's a, I think it definitely depends on, like, how good... If it's a good quality brand, though, they, they definitely should be having four or five sizes at least. Um, but sometimes I just want to be shopping those, like, smaller, you know, those more boutique-like stores. But they ain't be inclusive with the sizing. Um... <laughs> Excuse me, bitch. Fucking thank you for leaving the Shire. I will punch you through the screen right now. Just kidding. Just kidding. Not promoting violence. LOL. Uh, same as my sis. Tallest in school remained that height and I was the shortest in group a lot. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I remember... I don't even know. My brother. Like, I remember I was always, like, so much taller than my brother and then now he's, like, freaking 6'1". Uh, your accent slash dialect is a bit more noticeable than when you're chatting than ASMR. Well, that makes sense. Because since I'm talking, I have, like, different tones versus in a whisper. I don't really have different pitches or tones in my voice. <laughs> um, what does my accent slash dialect sound like? American? Valley girl? Oh my god, do you think that I talk like a valley girl a little bit? Because, you know, I just, like, really love drinking boba and going down by the beach with my girly pops. Oh my god, it is so fun. <laughs> talk British. <laughs> I can't. Guys, wait, I'm actually so bad at accents. I, like, do not know what accents sound like. If I wanted to talk British, this is what I think British people talk like. <laughs> Oh, you know, hello, mate. We, we were just snogging down, but... <laughs> um, that's all. I think that's the only accent I can do. I think that was the only accent I could do. Well, I feel like there's, like, there's, like, reality TV British, which was that. And then, and then I feel like there's Hogwarts British or whatever, like, like the classy professor vibe. Do Australian. I actually have no idea what an Australian accent sounds like. Like, I don't even know. I feel like Australians sound normal to me. Oh, actually, I can do one. I can do... I, here's my Australian accent. Nor! 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 <laughs> That's all I got. Nor! Uh, <laughs> um... Let me think. I think those are- that's it. That's all I got. I seriously don't think I know how to do any- Like, I just, like, don't really know what accent sounds like. I was- I don't, I've talked about this on stream sometimes, but I will, like, not notice if someone has an accent unless it's, like, so bad that I can barely understand them. But, like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm, like, tone deaf or something, but I just, like, don't really notice that stuff. So I don't really know what they sound like. Sounds like a fucked up Chewbacca. Oh, well, I can do a little bit of French. I feel like the French really sound like this. <laughs> I feel like the French, I feel like the French freaking talk from the back of their throat. <laughs> Analog, thank you so much for the tier one. Oh my God, guys, look, we have a fan of my accents. Like they were so good and amazing that Analog just had to sub to support like my voice acting career. Thank you, Analog. <laughs> um, I'm Canadian and my, I, okay, I don't think Canadians have an accent at all. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like whenever I hear a Canadian, like, like I feel like Canadians sound like Americans. Like I do not think that they sound different. <laughs> <laughs> You're nuts if you think that. <laughs> like, actually, Delulu. Well, thank you very much. I am actually Delulu. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, that is me. <laughs> um, I feel like the Chicago accent is either really heavy or non-existent. I I do not know what a Chicago accent would sound like. Like, I feel like basically all Americans sound the same, to be honest. Except for, like, maybe, like, New York people. Yamada. That's all I can think of. 
Even the Southerns? I guess Southern. I guess Southerners. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really interact with Southerners very often. Like, trying to think of the last time I heard a Southern accent IRL. Like, I feel like the only time I see a Southern accent is, like, on TV or something. And I feel like that's, like, probably exaggerated a little. I don't really know. Or Boston or Baltimore. I don't know. Like I said, I feel like I just don't really notice accents. Like, I just, like... I don't know. Like, I just don't notice at all. I, and I tell the story. I was like, I was like, one time, um, I was like in a group project with this girl for like the whole semester. And then, um, at the end of the semester, uh, she said something about her like going back home to Britain. And I was like, oh, you're British? Or like, I didn't say that out loud, but in my mind, I was like, you're British? And yeah, she was British. I, and then I started to like listen to the way that she talked. And I was like, oh, damn, like, Homegirls had a British accent this whole time, and I did not notice at all. <laughs> like, I don't really know. If I can understand what the person is saying, I'm not really, like, thinking about the way that they're saying things or whatever. Like, the only time I'll, like, really notice someone has an accent is if it's, like, super heavy and it's, like, almost difficult to understand them sometimes. But, like, I don't know. I guess I just, like, don't... I don't really, like, think about the way that people say things. You don't be listening to people. I mean, I just listen to what they're saying. I'm not listening to, like, how they're saying it. <laughs> uh, you're trying to mimic other people's accents? Uh, I wouldn't say so. I, like, I, I, like I said, I just, like, don't... Well, because I just feel like everybody has different voices. So, like, so I guess, like, in my mind, I probably, like, if someone is, like, speaking a little differently, I just assume it's, like, their voice. Or just, like, the way that they're talking. Like, I don't really think about, oh, they said this word this way. They must be from, they must have this kind of accent. I don't know. <laughs> uh, your, ba your brain probably ignores the accent. More, subscon more subconsciously accepting. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I'm just fucking accepting and non-judgmental. Unlike you fucks, I guess. <laughs> no, but actually, I, I, I just feel like I don't really... I'm just listening to what they have to say. Like, I don't know. Like, is everyone just, like, constantly, like, oh, my God, bro. I fucking hate the kind of people that are actually always pointing out the way that people are saying things. Like, they're like, oh, milk? Why are you saying it like milk? It's milk. Or, like, I don't know. Like, like different things like that. Oh, I fucking hate people like that. It's like, what? How are you? Why are you even paying attention to that? Just listen to the, listen to the what the fuck I'm saying and not how the fuck I'm saying it. <laughs> um... She's probably the most British sounding person ever. No, I mean, no, she had been like going to that universe. Like she was like a study abroad student for, I think that was like, I don't know. Like she had been studying abroad there for a few years. So I feel like she probably actually had a less noticeable British accent than someone fresh off the, the plane or whatever, you know. Um, What they're saying in your head, like overriding the accent. Yeah, like I'm just like listening to what they're actually saying and having a conversation with them. I'm not like focusing on like their pronunciation or anything. Like I feel like that's, weird <laughs> like I, I don't know like like i feel like people that focus on that those are the people that are doing too much like i'm chill with it okay um who thinks about this that deep bro we're just having a conversation bro what are you talking about we're just we're just talking about sh stuff for shits and giggles we're not do you think enough do you think about things enough <laughs> we're just we're just having a little conversation. I'm not, I'm not having a mental breakdown. Okay. I'm not, I'm not publishing essays. I, I'm not like <laughs> giving a four hour lecture. <laughs> Sorry, I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay. We've actually, um, we've actually talked for 14 more minutes than I anticipated. Let's go give them Pokemon, Pokemon guns. You're, is it, is it Pokemon gun time? Oh, the bot got ya. I don't know what you said, but the bot got ya. Bot did not like that. <laughs> um, wrong chat for that statement. This is where the philosophical titans of our generation come to congregate. Facts, honestly, facts. Yeah, anytime I hear someone being like, "You're thinking, you're th you think, you're thinking too much," <laughs> you're not thinking enough. All right, my brain moves at the speed of light, and your brain moves at the speed of a fucking sloth, my guy. 
We're just on different levels. Sorry. Sorry. You can't compete. <laughs> just kidding. Um, by the way, lavender is my favorite color, so I'm feeling the visuals. Ooh. Lavender is actually my favorite smell. I was recently asked what my favorite, like, scent was, and the answer is lavender. Do you guys have any favorite smells? I also do really like, um, like a sandalwood type of smell, I feel like. I like, I feel like I've been buying a lot more candles for my apartment, so I, <laughs> I've been, like, paying more attention to, like, scents and stuff. Um... <laughs> oh, love. Nah, we just joking. Hey, I don't mind, I don't mind a little jokey joke, you know? I, I make fun of you, you you guys don't make fun of me, just kidding. <laughs> I'm allowed to bully you guys because I'm the streamer, but if you bully me, then you're banned. <laughs> just kidding. Time out, wait, what's going on? Wait, is Pal World still a thing? Wait, I'm so excited to play this, guys. All right, Lo-Fi Beats. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Lo-Fi Beats. It's time for us to give Pokemon guns. Are y'all excited? Wait! Fudge! I just realized. I didn't do my go live tweet. Hmm. Should I wear my headset so I look like a real gamer? Here, wait, hold on. What the fuck is going on right now with this? You're spooked? What are you spooked about? Why is my hair looking crazy? Smoothing out. Me hiding my like missing nail. <laughs> All right, one of those has to be good, right? Oh, listen to that game soundtrack, y'all. Fire, fire. Um Um How did I manage to look weird in all of those? Yeah, sorry. I hated every single take of that. Oopsies. Oopsies. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe that's the secret. The the backwards piece sign or the front 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 one. <laughs> Kawaii Ulu <Ooh>, Gamer. <laughs> um Okay, let's see. Okay, wait, maybe, I think we, I think I might have gotten, okay, we got, we got one, boys, and girls, <laughs> um, oh god, repent, hooker, I like that, I should make that my new motto, oh, my capybara clip is barely in the screen, He's not getting any screen time. Oh no.
Okay, I'm looking very e-girl in this picture, but I think I just need to accept... I just need to accept that. Alright. Guys, is, um... 